In this video we present you two new pastes for the terrain of our scenes from the new range of Wargame products. We will be testing the purple AK-1233 paste and AK-1234 in brown almost black color. Both have a dense and grainy texture. They are acrylic products, so we will be able to use water to apply them diluted and thus vary their density and texture. We make a test by depositing the paste on a piece of paper adding some water on one half of it to appreciate the differences in the result. We do the same test with the dark paste. Let them dry completely for at least 6 hours. The drying time will vary depending on the thickness of the layer applied. Once the samples are completely dry, you will notice that they have a great texture and a completely matte appearance. The paste applied directly from the pot has great volume while the area diluted with water has more texture and roughness. To make this mini terrain we have used a piece of foam of 10 by 8.5 cm and 30 mm thick. In addition, we have glued a piece of the same foam in a corner to get a certain elevation on the terrain. The relief has been achieved by applying pressure with the handle of a screwdriver. The working materials will be the pastes themselves which will be mixed at our convenience, a stiff bristle brush to apply them, gravel and stones which we will fix with PVA glue diluted with water. We will start by mixing the pastes in a plastic container until we find the right shade. The quantity will depend on the surface to be covered. Without worrying about anything else, we begin to place and spread the paste on the ground with the help of the brush. Once we have completely covered the base, with the same brush dipped in water, we will gently touch the surface until it is smooth. Doing this we will also remove the brush marks. Before the paste dries, we will start placing the smaller stones. The adherence of the paste makes it possible to fix small elements without using any adhesive. However, with PVA glue diluted in water, we will guarantee its correct fixation.
For larger elements we will use undiluted PVA glue. Once the work on the ground is finished and completely dry, we can start painting. The materials that we will use to paint are a pillbox, 3-gen acrylic paints and ultramat varnish. Of course, we must have a good brush, water and absorbent paper. After placing and diluting the colors in the pillbox, we can start painting the elements that we consider appropriate. For the gravel we will use, in addition to the previous ones, another grayish acrylic color. Continuing on the ground, we will apply a light dry brush on the larger stones. We will use a medium gray acrylic color and a flat brush to apply it. With this we will achieve some relief and depth so that these elements not look so flat. Next we will apply some of the new liquid pigments on the ground. We will apply them fresh combining the colors as we apply them. We will use white spirit to blend and soft the mixtures. Normally the dark colors are applied in the shaded areas, around the most prominent objects. As we move towards the areas that receive more light, we incorporate the lighter tones. We have decided to use some accessories reproduced on high quality paper that have a fantastic finish. The accessories come on a sheet of printed paper. Cut out and mark the areas to be folded with a blade. Finally glue them with a bit of PVA glue and they are ready to be placed on the ground. With the flag we proceed in the same way. After cutting it out, we will fold it over a flagpole made of a plastic rod and stick it to it with PVA glue which we will apply with a brush. Once the accessories are mounted, we will apply some washes and weathering with oil colors always using white spirit.
Once the ground is dry, we make the hole to place the flag. To fix the accessories we will use PVA glue. The last step is to paint the edges of the scene. As you can see our lunar terrain is completely dry and finished. We hope you have enjoyed this video and that it helps you with your models. We invite you to follow us on YouTube on the AK Interactive channel. See you in the next video.